Hi, I'm George Macklin, and um, today we're going to talk just briefly about where you've come from with your learning of English. Many of you have gotten very frustrated, and it seems that you have trouble, and it seems like you're always doing things the hard way, that English never comes to you, and it's always a fight. Well, I'm here to tell you that I think it's not your fault. Quite often, as a matter of fact, most schools approach English backwards, trying to create people who are effectively going to become English teachers, knowing grammar rules, knowing all kinds of big and deep secrets of speaking or primarily writing English. What should happen first is learning to speak and to share and to communicate in English. That's what we do differently with karaoke English and role-playing English. We do, truthfully, I'd rather we not do anything on paper. We do some. It is important. You will be learning grammar, but you're going to learn it naturally by ear, not by memorizing um, rules and things like that. This will become comparatively very easy. Now, easy is a dangerous word. Um, one of the things I want to bring up to your to your mind is that we're developing a skill, not a form of study. So we want to develop good habits in speaking, much like learning to ride a bicycle or play an instrument. It's about repetition and good repetition to create a skill in speaking English. Once we develop that skill and we can hear the words, within our own mind we hear what sounds right. That is the guide for grammar then. Rather than trying to memorize all the rules, what sounds right? That's the natural and the normal way of learning a language. That's what we are going to be focusing on with anything we do together. Um, you've heard, what is the best method? There is no best method. The best method is whatever works for you and you are consistently working at. It does take time. You cannot <laughs> read a thousand books about English. You will become a good reader, but you will never speak English well. You must simply do. Like we said earlier, riding a bike or playing ball or anything, it takes practice, good practice. You need a coach, that's what I do. So anyway, that's what we're working on. Um, also, another thing that we'll be doing is we'll be looking for fun ways. Fun is much more sustainable. You will stay at something that's fun. So you've always thought that hard work is the best way. Well, what about hard fun? What about playing hard? What about enjoying what you do? Uh, it's something that you should think about. If you're not enjoying it, why do it? Maybe there's a better way. That's what we're looking for together, and that's what I'm inviting you to try with me. So get together with us, uh, try it out, have some fun, and um, let's see what we can do together. I want you to be passionate about communicating. Now, some of you can only be passionate about taking a test and getting on with your life. That'll be part of it too, but it's ultimately how this is serving you is to be able to touch and be touched by another human being. That's where we're trying to go together. And we will then, if we can do that, tests and all those things will fall into place behind it. So, see you around. Bye-bye. This is George. Hope to see you.